In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how to create these low poly stylized hand painted tree models. Now, this tutorial is a short clip from my full tutorial series on how to create this stylized low poly forest river animation. So if you'd like to check out the full tutorial series and learn how to create this artwork, you can find the links in the description. Or if you just want to create these low poly trees that I used in the full tutorial, you can watch this video. And if you'd like to purchase these low poly tree models to use in your projects, you can find the links in the description and purchase the models. So I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching. So I'll go to the add menu and we are going to add a cylinder. And then if I open up the add cylinder settings right behind me to make this look low poly, I'll turn the vertices to eight. And it's way too big right now, so we'll scale it down by a 0.1 and then I'll press control A and we're going to apply the scale. Let's go to front view and I'll go into edit mode and I'm going to bring it up like this. We can also turn off proportional editing because we don't need that. And I'll go into wireframe and I'll deselect everything. We're just going to box select the top and I can bring it down and then I can scale it down and we can extrude it and then scale it down and extrude it again and scale it down just like that. So this is going to be the tree trunk. Maybe select this entire thing and kind of scale this up a little bit like that. And then if you select everything, you can kind of bring it down just like that. And again, we want the origin point to be here on the bottom. So now if we select everything, we can extrude it way up. Let's zoom out here. And I want to extrude it up pretty high, maybe about that far. And then we can scale that way down, maybe even a little bit farther. So we have a pretty long tree trunk. So now back in object mode, we're going to be adding a new object. So we'll go to the add menu and we're going to add a circle. So let's go into edit mode and we will extrude everything, but then we'll scale everything and I'll type zero and enter. Then we're going to hit M to merge and we're going to merge by distance. And that will just merge them all together. So there's just going to be one on the very top. So what we're going to do is we're going to be texture painting, kind of a stylized texture for the branches. And then we're going to bring this up. So we're going to bring this up later and that way the branches will look like they're going back down. And so it'll be kind of a cool way to create some stylized trees. So let's just select this object here for now and we'll just hide it. So hit the H key to hide that object. So we'll select this object and we're going to go over here to the shading workspace. So we need to create a new texture that we're going to paint on. So let's click on new to add a new material. I'm going to call this tree branches. And let's now go to the add menu and we're going to search for an image texture. We'll drop this down here. We'll click on new to create a new image texture. And I can just call this tree branches alpha. We're calling this tree branches alpha because this is going to be a mask to tell it where the tree branches are going to be. And then the other spot is going to be transparent. Now in the width and height, I'm going to change both of these to 4096 by 4096. That is the standard resolution for a 4K texture. And I'll leave the colors fully black because where it's going to be black, that'll be transparent. And then we're going to paint white and that's where the branches are going to be. So we'll click on new image. And just for now, we'll put the color into the base color so we can kind of see it. So now we need to UV unwrap this. So if we go to top view, we'll go into edit mode and we're going to select everything and we'll hit U and then we're going to use the project from view bounds and make sure you're on top view when you do that. Now, if we click over here to go to the UV editing workspace, you can see it's UV unwrapped it nice and flat. Now, if we hit the A key to select all the UV editing, we're just going to scale it down a tiny bit so that it's not overlapping and it's not touching the outside of the texture space. So just like that. So now we can start to paint this. So we're going to click right here to go to the texture painting workspace. And I'm just going to hide the 3D view. So we'll drag this over here because we're just going to be texture painting on this and we're going to texture paint flat. So here on the color, I'm going to go here to the RGB and I'm going to turn all these up to one so that it is going to be fully white. So if we paint, it'll be fully white. And then also let's use the paint hard brush. And also here on the radius, I'll just drag the radius way down so it's a lot smaller. So I'm going to be using my drawing tablet for this, but you could also just use your mouse if you want to. Now I'm also going to have some Amazon affiliate links to some drawing tablets that I recommend. So if you're interested in purchasing a drawing tablet, you could check out those affiliate links in the description. And if you purchase a tablet through those links, then I will earn a small commission, but it won't cost you anything extra. And the drawing tablet that I'll be using is just this simple, small walk and pad tablet. It's a pretty small tablet, but it works really great for doing texture painting. So again, what we're doing is we're going to paint a mask of where the branches are going to show up. So I'm just going to start to go along here and I'm just going to kind of paint where the branches are going to be. So we're just going to basically paint kind of a cool texture here, a detailed texture of the end of the branches. And then later we're going to fill this. So 
Don't worry about it being black most of the spots. We're going to fill this in later once we are finished creating the basic mask. So basically these endpoints here, this is going to be kind of the end of the tree branches. So we'll just go along here, kind of making a cool stylized texture. So I'm just gonna to continue to do this all the way around, around the entire texture. So just something like that is gonna be just fine. Maybe add a few more details here and there, just some little branches kind of popping out. So now we're gonna use the fill tool. So we'll click right down here to go to the fill tool. And then if we click here on advanced, we wanna drag the fill threshold way up to around a 0.9 or a 0.95. I'll do a 0.95. And now we can just click here and that's going to fill it in white. And that was a bit too much, so I'll hit Control Z to undo that. So what I'm gonna do is go here to the paint hard brush and you can see right here there was an issue where it's kind of filling this in. So let's just fill that. Just make sure there aren't any areas where it's not overlapping because we don't want any spot to be touching the outside of it. And I also missed this part right here, so just kind of fill that in so that it's not connecting. So now let's click back here to go to the fill brush and on the advanced here, make sure this is like past 0.9 and we'll click there to fill that. And there you go, now you can see it's nicely filled and you want the fill to be pretty high because if I turn this advanced down, if I turn the fill threshold down and then click here, you can see there's gonna be this ugly kind of line there. So so I don't want that. So make sure it's really high. You can actually see right here, there's like kind of this gray line here. So I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna turn this really high. So turn the fill threshold almost all the way up, but just turn it pretty high. So just turn it almost to one and then just click there and that's going to fill that all in. All right, just like that, let's just zoom in here. All right, so I need to like fill this in here, click there to fill that in. Just go along here and fill in all these little spots. And then there's a few spots here that we need to fix manually. So if we just go back to the hard brush, we can just kind of manually fill that in. So let's just look along here. This is a bit weird, so I might just kind of fill that in. So that's really it, it's uh, pretty simple. So once you're finished, you can just click on image and we're gonna click on save as. And we're just gonna save this in our project files and we'll just click on save as image and make sure you save that because if you close Blender without saving it, it's not gonna save your texture painting. So we can click back here to go to the shading workspace. So now what I wanna do is I wanna mix this between the principled shader and a transparent shader. So we'll go to the add menu and we're gonna search for transparent. And then what we're gonna do is search for a mix shader. So we're gonna use this one to mix two shaders together. So we'll just drop the mix shader right here. So the transparent is gonna go into the top one and then the principled shader is gonna go into the bottom one. And now this tree branches alpha, this one is going to to go into the factor and we can unplug it from the base color and we'll just drag this up here. So now you can see that it's going to be transparent wherever it's black but then where it's white that's where it's going to be. So you're going to be able to see it where it's white. And also just to show you real quick if I drag this up like this you can see it's kind of stretching it and we're getting that cool stylized effect of the tree branches. So I'm just going to undo that but that's what we're going to use to create the stylized trees. So I'm now going to go to the add menu and we're going to search for another image texture. We'll drop this down here and we'll click on new to add a new texture. And this one I can call this tree branches color. And we'll set it to 4096 by 4096. And on the color here, I'm gonna set this to kind of like a dark green. So something like that. And we'll click on new image. Now the color can go into the base color and now it looks nice and green. Now we already UV unwrapped the object, so we can now just go back here to texture painting and we can now just texture paint what we want the texture to look like. So I'm not gonna texture paint on the object, I'm just going to texture paint here on the flat surface. So what I'm first gonna do is go here to the color and I'm gonna make this like a green color, but it's going to be a bit darker. So what I'm first gonna do is click here on the color and I'm gonna make this a nice bright green, so something like that, not too saturated, kind of a bright green. And then what I'll do is go here to the soft brush, so paint soft. Let me just make my radius a bit bigger and then I also wanna turn the brush strength down. So now what I can do is just go along here and I actually need to change the color because I changed the brush so it changed the color. So let me just hit Control Z to undo that. Click here and we're gonna make it kinda of like a bright green color. So now I can just go along here. Let me just turn the brush strength down a bit more. And I'm just gonna go along here and start by painting kind of a line. So now if you look here on the 3D model, you can see there's gonna be this white line there. Then I'm gonna go back and forth and we're gonna paint another one right there, so kind of like an X. And then we're gonna go back and forth here. So paint another one there and another one here, just like that. All right, kind of go back and forth, kind of make it look kind of random and noisy. Paint that in there and there, have it go to the very end. 
And then here in between, we're gonna just paint a little bit more. So maybe turn the radius down so it's a little bit smaller. And in between here, we're gonna paint just a little bit more, kind of painting in those little lighter areas. So now that we painted that, I wanna make the center a little bit darker and have a few darker areas. So if we click on the color, let's make it very saturated of a green and then we'll turn it down. So I can now just go along here in between these and I can just paint a little bit of a darkness kind of in here just to make the in, inner parts a little bit darker to kind of get the texture of the stylized branches. All right, just like that. And then I'm gonna make my brush a lot bigger. And right here in the very center, I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. So just going along here and making the center part just a little bit darker, going along there. And then as it gets closer and closer to the center, it's gonna be darker and darker, something like that. So the last thing that I wanna do is kind of paint some little white lines or lighter colored lines, and that's gonna look like the pine needles. So we'll go to the color we'll make it fully white and we'll make it kind of a lighter color and let's turn the strength up not all the way but a bit higher and we'll turn the radius way down so now I can just go along here maybe turn the strength down a bit more that's a bit too high even a little bit farther down I guess the strength shouldn't be that high we're just gonna go along here and paint this texture which is gonna look like the pine needles so I'm just going along here just a little tiny strokes and I'm gonna do this all the way around kind of in a circle going into the center. So I'm not gonna show the entire process because this is very time consuming, definitely takes quite a while. I'm just gonna go along here, try to be patient and just draw in all the textures there for the needles, but this is definitely gonna add a lot of detail. All right, and that's gonna be it for my tree texture. So we'll click on image and save as. And we'll call this tree branches color and we'll just save it with our other project files like that. Let's go back over here to the shading workspace and I can zoom out here. You can see what we've created now. So now let's shade this object smooth, just shade it smooth. And if we go into edit mode, we're gonna bring this up just like that, kind of bring it up. And now you can see we kind of get that stylized kind of branches. So then we're gonna duplicate this and scale it up. And you can see we're gonna create some cool stylized trees. Let's select this object. And on the roughness here, I'm gonna turn this up to like a 0.7. So it's a bit more rough. Actually, I might turn it up to a 0.8, so it's a little bit more rough. I think that's a bit better. Let's go back here to the layout, and I'll hit Alt-H to unhide the objects. And if we select the tree trunk, we'll click on New to add a new material, and I can just call this Tree Trunk. For this one, I'm gonna turn the roughness up to like a 0.8, so it's rough. And then the base color, I'm gonna make this just an orangey color, and then make it darker so it's a brown color. And let's go into the material preview so we can see how that's looking. All right, so let's go to front view and I'm going to select the tree branch and I'll just bring this up here, kind of scale it down a little bit like that. And then I can duplicate it. We can scale it down on the Z axis and kind of scale the whole thing down. And then we can give it a random rotation by rotating it on the Z axis. And then I'll duplicate it, give it a random rotation, kind of scale it, scale it on the Z axis. And we're just gonna to continue to do that all the way around and just have it kind of come up until we have a nice looking tree. And I think maybe this tree branch might be a little bit too high. So if I go into edit mode we're just going to box like the top and maybe bring it down a little bit and maybe scale this one up a little bit and maybe these kind of scale them out a little bit so they're a little bit bigger and so we're just going to be doing this a few different times and making a few different random trees now there is one thing about the materials i don't quite like and that is that i just think the trees are a little bit bright so if i just go here to the shading workspace what i'm going to do is just go to the add menu and add a hue saturation value and i'll put this between the tree branches color and the principal shader and then i can just turn this value down i'll just turn it down a little bit more so the tree is just a little bit dark maybe turn it to like a 0.6 because i think the tree should just be a little bit darker Let's go back here to the layout and save the project. So now I'm gonna duplicate all the objects and I'll move them over and we're gonna make a few different variations. So I'm just gonna select these other objects and delete them and we can now just make another tree which is gonna have some different variations. So this one is gonna be maybe a smaller one. So we'll have it kind of scale down, rotate it, and just make it end a lot sooner. And then if you go into edit mode on the tree trunk, you can just box select the top and bring it down. So we're gonna have a much smaller tree like that. Maybe duplicate this again, kind of scale that up. We can have like a really pointy top, all right, like that. We'll select all these and we'll duplicate them again. And we're just gonna do that and create five different variations of our tree. So this one could maybe be a bit of a a wider one so if you kind of select these go into edit mode you can scale them down and then just scale them up scale them down the z-axis 
so it's a bit more of a wider tree. And then maybe make another small one on the top for a point. You could also make the tree a bit thicker by duplicating it and then rotating it so there's even more tree branches. Duplicate this one again. We don't need that one here, we'll just duplicate that one. And let's make this one maybe a bit lower down. We can box select these and kind of bring them down like that. And we can scale it down. Bring it up just like that. All right, and then for the last tree, I think I'll make like a really tall skinny one. So I'll just box select this tree and duplicate it. We can just box select the branches, go into edit mode, and I can scale all of them up on the Z axis, scale them down like that so we have kind of a, a taller one. Maybe scale those branches down and rotate them. All right, so we have five different variations of our trees. So now if we just click and drag to box select them, and then I'll lastly select the trunk. I'll hit Control J so they're all one object. We'll do the same for this one. So select all the branches, select the trunk last, hit Control J. I'm just going to continue to do that for all the others so they're all joined together into their own objects. Just like that. So now we have just five different tree objects. So that's how you create these low poly stylized hand painted tree models in Blender. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to help support the channel, you can also purchase the finished tutorial project files with the links in the description. And if you'd like to watch the full tutorial on how to create this stylized low poly forest river animation, you can find the links to that tutorial series in the description. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.